Hi everyone, my name is Dee Roussel, also known as Deja, and today I am going to be doing my anticipated releases for 2024. It is so hard for me to believe that it is already almost 2024 because I have only read one of my 2023 releases or anticipated releases and that one was not really... I mean, it was fine, but it wasn't like my favorite. And so now that I'm making the list of 2024 releases, I am I feel like I'm way more excited for this upcoming year than like the last year because I feel like I'm getting more into like my favorite genre again, which is fantasy. And so a lot of these releases that I'm going to be speaking about are fantasy based because I'm in my fantasy mood again. So I'm really hoping that a lot of these are going to be five stars. Let's get started with my anticipated releases. The first one is The Principal Moments. And this one is compared to like V.E. Schwab, like with her, um, not the Vicious series, but like, what is the other one with the Multiply Worlds? I think A Darker Shade of Magic or something. I have a love-hate relationship with V. E. Schwab's work. Like, I feel like her concepts are very interesting, but the execution is just never really for me. And so this book, The Principle of Moments, I feel like is going to be maybe a better fit for me than the A Darker Shade of Magic series just because of the writing aspect. And while I've never tried this author's writing, I feel like it's going to be a very interesting one to try because I've always been very interested in like science and fantasy together um those are those have been like some of my favorite books like um the Broken Earth trilogy which I've only read the first one but like that is a blend of science and fantasy and it's like one of my favorite books and so I'm excited for this one because it is going to be a science fantasy and I also feel like it's just going to be very adventurous it's going to have like time traveling and just all these other things and so I'm just really excited to try this one and I believe that this one comes out on January 18th of next year. The next one that I have is Feybound by Sarah Al Arifi. This one I'm excited to try. I did DNF the final stripe but I feel like it was only because of the characters and the um the plot I guess the story just wasn't calling to me but this one I feel like is going to be very interesting. It has a sister relationship and it is also going to be political. It has Faye in it and I just feel like I'm very willing to try this one to pick up the final strap again because this one is more of the fantasy vibes that I like. Like I don't mind rebellion stories and all of that but like when you come with like the fae and the magical creatures and stuff, I feel like I vibe more with that. So that and the sister relationship, I feel like that's going to make this book a way better fit for me. And so I'm excited to try that one. And this one comes out on January 23rd of 2024. The next one that I have is a historical fiction. It is called The Mayor of Maxwell Street. And this is one that comes out on January 30th of 2024. I was mainly interested in this one because this one takes place in the 1920s and follows a black debutante and that was pretty much all that really like got to me and I feel like it's going to have like romantic elements of course deal with like racism a little bit but I don't foresee like the racism being like the main plot but you never know with some of these books and so I'm excited to get into the vibes of this one like I really wanted to see more of the 1920s with like black people in it and I believe that this is going to have like a lot of like political things happening as well and so I'm excited to try this one I'm hesitant to say that it's like super anticipated but I'm definitely willing to try it especially because it is set in the 1920s. Getting back to my fantasy ones I have The Dead Cattail Assassins by P. Jelly Clark and this is like by an author that I'm getting to the point where I'm just really like trusting this author with like their works. Now I feel like it, I specifically trust their novellas a little bit more than like their novels just because I haven't heard the best things about their novels but like almost all of their novellas have been like super good and the ones that I have tried by this author um Black God's Drums and Ring Shout like I just really like those are some of like my favorite reads and so I'm excited to try this one it is another novella that follows like a group of assassins and that was pretty much all I needed to know about this one I'm just very interested to see like what commentary is going to be in here and like what influence is going to be in it as well and so yeah this one comes out April 23rd 2024 and yeah cannot wait to try it the next one is another novella and that is Lost Ark Dreaming by C. 
Suyi Davies Okumawa. I always have to say that name super slow. Um, but anyway, this is another novella and I feel like it's more of a sci-fi novella. And I tried some of the Storm by this author and I thought it was fine. I'm still going to read the second one, but I'm putting it off because it's more of like a journey kind of like fantasy one. And so yeah, but this one I'm super excited about because it is calmed as like snow piercer which is like um like a snowy kind of um sci-fi apocalyptic film I want to say and a and the deep by River Solomon and I really love River Solomon a lot and so I'm just super excited to try this one like it just sounds so good to me it's gonna be like an underwater society kind of because like the I think the facilities are like underneath the water or something um so they're not mermaids but they're just underwater but um yeah I just I'm really excited to try this one especially because I'm getting more into sci-fi now because just like the speculating of what the future is going to be like is going to be very interesting to me so when this one comes out in May I think 21st of 2024 I'm definitely going to be picking it up and while I am excited for like all of these this next one is like probably my top like one that I'm super excited for and this one is called Masquerade this one it feels like it's going to give me fantasy romance, historical, well, I guess historical fantasy romance, and just like a lot of politics, a strong female character. Like, I just, I feel like it's going to be just the perfect book for me. And I love this cover, like a lot. Like, that's what immediately drew me was the cover. And then I started reading like the description and I was just like, this sounds like it's going to be like the perfect book for me. This book is going to be set in a reimagined 15th century West Africa and I feel like it's more um Nigerian influence. Um I think the author is Nigerian and while I can get like a little tired of just like all the um Nigerian inspired like fantasy worlds and stuff I think the other aspects of this um novel like the character, the um political like marriage because it's going to be an arranged marriage to like I think um the description said like a warlord or something I just feel like it's going to be the perfect book for me like I love historical fiction and I'm very interested like with the dynamics of like arranged marriages when it comes to like romances and stuff and just like just the all the politics that are going to just be happening with this like I really think that I'm going to love this one. And this one is coming out on July 2nd of 2024. The next one that I have is In the Shadows of the Fall by Toby Ogun something. Um, this is one that I'm very interested in because of um, the involvement of the Orishas. I really like when gods and goddesses are really included in like stories. Like they are like my, what do you people call it? Like my not my call words what is it like I cannot think of this word but those are like the things that really like call to me when you like mention gods and goddesses like that's that's gonna call me to the book I don't really know what else this book is about besides like including like the Orishas and stuff but yeah I'm very interested in trying this one out and I'm also just in love with this cover because it just has three like powerful looking like black women on there and I'm just perfect for me this one comes out in july also i think july 20 something in 2024 but of course i'll have that on the screen and then another fantasy book that i have is the last one by rachel housel hall this one i hesitated on putting on my anticipated releases because i tried one book by this author wasn't really a big fan of the dual timeline aspect of it like um that book was um and then she was gone or something like that but I'm also very hesitant to put this one on my list because I think this is the author's first foray into fantasy and I'm not sure how that's going to go not every author can write a lot of genres and I'm hoping that since I didn't really vibe with her mystery thriller type of book that maybe like the fantasy elements will be for me. Only other author that I've tried that kind of went from like mystery thriller to like fantasy-ish, they failed tremendously at doing it. And so I'm very cautious to put this one on my TBR but like it just sounds really good to me. It feels like it's going to have um 
like a anti-hero kind of protagonist um or maybe a hero protagonist i don't know i feel like she's more of like anti-hero because the world is dying um and i guess she's the one who made the world start dying like i don't know she has to save the world from herself that's pretty much the vibes that i got from it i'm really hoping that i like it but we will see how this one goes. And this one, I'm not sure when it's going to be released. Like, I keep seeing multiple different um, release dates. Like, I saw something in February, and then I saw something in July. And then I saw something about, like, how it's supposed to be released in 2023. I don't know when it's going to be released. But I think it is going to be released in 2024, especially because you can pre-order it now. And so, yeah, they, to be determined, I guess. And the last one on my list is, of course, about vampires because I love vampires. This one is going to be Immortal Dark by Tyges, Tyges Gurma. I apologize for how I'm pronouncing all of these names because, of course, I always forget until I'm filming to look up how to pronounce these people's names. And so I apologize for my mispronunciation. But this one is, I think, a YA fantasy um vampire romance i think um i think it has like dark academia vibes so dark academia with um vampires i'm sold i feel like it's going to give me the atmospheric vibes of dark academia but then also just including my favorite paranormal creature vampires in it like i'm very interested to see how this one is going to go now, because I think it leans more YA, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it, but I'm still very much anticipating it just because of those two elements that are put together in this one. And I don't know. We will see. I have no cover for it. I'm thinking that this one will come out in September, so maybe I will read it in October, but I don't know. We will see. And then the last book that I have is one that I have no release date, no cover, no title for it but i know that's going to be released in 2024 because the author said that it is and this one is by christina zell um i believe the name is and she's just writing a fantasy romance that's dark and i didn't believe that i would be into dark like romance or anything but i think that is something i'm going to dive into next year because of one of my favorite books from 2023 and so I'm excited to try this one. Like I will put like a few of like the character graphics and stuff that um she's been sharing um with it, but just by like that promotion, like I'm just very excited to try it. And I'm really hoping that it does come out in 2024 because I want to pick it up. But that will wrap up all of the books that I'm excited for for 2024. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe tell me any anticipated releases that you have been um looking forward to for 2024 ones that i haven't mentioned or, or ones that i have mentioned i'm always looking for more because you can never stop going wrong with new releases and so yeah that will wrap up this video i really hope that you have enjoyed it and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye